Yeah, I pray to God, but I'm a sinner. Yeah. Yeah, I pray to God, but I'm a sinner. I know they like how you take them losses and keep pushing forward. I keep a chin up like a barn from me. Uh, like how you deal with all them haters say they gonna pull you. So my camera died. But I just got a haircut. Big shout out to my boy Range. His spot, Pride and Purpose Studios. I'm always gonna support Bay Area Creatives. Let me know what you think. I definitely needed a trim. Part of me wants to go and just buzz my hair. And then the other part of me wants to grow it out and get a mullet. We'll see if I even get that far. I'm gonna cry right now. Fuck. Oh, goodness. Also, I didn't realize I was out of tomatoes, so there ain't gonna be no tomatoes in this corned beef. Yes, I know it is criminal to not have tomatoes, and I don't even have an egg either, but I just wanted something quick. So one thing for the new year is I'm really just trying to not DoorDash and not Uber Eats every single day. I get that on occasion, and if I'm working and streaming, but simple meals that I can make, that I grew up with, that I learned how to make. And another thing is I wholeheartedly believe eating the foods that my ancestors ate, and aside from whatever any health nutritionist says, although I definitely will still take their advice. It's good for my soul. If I eat Filipino food every day, it's good for the soul, you know? It's uh, yeah, so yeah, I just say that because I love Filipino food, but it's a good reason, at least in my head. Can't go wrong. Can never go wrong. Okay, so yesterday I made a few changes to the apartment. Last year was really hectic and it just became a mess in here. So after I'm done eating, I'll show you guys the apartment renovation. So this is my new editing setup. There will be a number of you that say, why do you need a new setup? My gaming setup is already fine enough. And to that, I completely agree. The thing with me personally is ever since I started content creation, I like to keep gaming and streaming separate from editing and productivity, responding to emails and meetings. So that's what this setup is for. I made a TikTok and YouTube short on building it. And let me show you this view. We got the studio display right here, my M3 Max MacBook Pro right there, an Apple keyboard, touchpad. Like I mentioned earlier, check out this view. So we got Crypto Arena over there, the sun lives right there, sets like over there somewhere. And then we have downtown LA also over here. For me, having a dedicated area where I can just lock in and focus on videos, focus on content, focus on concepts, brand deals, meetings, all in one place. I don't know why I didn't build this setup sooner. But let me show you some other updates to the apartment. I put that silence in your city, ain't no rap cat. The island is gone. Instead, we got this little girl. We thought it made more sense to put this little storage thing here, put all the coffee stuff on top. Cause now we have a lot more space. And this area is Haru. She has everything that she needs in this little corner. Biting her pee pad too. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. The sun's going down. We are pretty much out of coffee beans, so I have more to show you. But we'll continue this video at the coffee shop. Piling on my knees to sunrise. Say you loving me for the whole night. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. Blue hour. You don't like it? I'm good with mine. It's pretty light. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That looks like a paint. Find you somebody that will hold your coffee so that you can get your shot. We have to walk. Tell me as it seems like you told me shit. You've been selling dreams like you only live. Have you way with me? The sky looks so cool right now. Rate your coffee one to ten. Like a two. Aloe likes her drinks to be very strong and sweet. Rich. Rich. Is that the right word? No. Strong and sweet. Strong and sweet. I like both. I'm not very picky. Just I can like appreciate water. both. Like definitely is less, but I still like it. I don't know. Am I weird? Do y'all see the sunset right now? This reminds me of the day that we moved in. It looked kind of similar to this, except instead of setting over there, it's set over there. Every time I open my apartment door, walk over here and see the view, it it doesn't get old. Look at Miss Haru lady. For the next couple hours, I have some videos that I need to work on, so enjoy this time lapse. Baby. We interrupt this editing session as it's time to feed the D's. This is Kila's food. This is Haru's food. Look at Kila. He knows he's about to get fed, so he's on his best behavior. Haru Wilder in there. I gotta get her. Leave it. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. Leave it. Wait. Good boy, Kidua. Boy. So training Haru has been pretty interesting. Since she's a puppy, we just use her kibble sit. She picked up on how to sit. 
pretty quickly. She does have some patience issues, which we're trying to get better and better at. I'm gonna be teaching her how to walk. And how to walk at my heel. Then of course, we wanna teach her more tricks. High five. Oh, I'm gonna teach her how to sit down too. Down. Oh, she's scratching her head. Down. Oh, you got it. Down. Good girl, good down. She did it. You did it. One thing I forgot to show you guys is what we got at Blue Bottle. We've never really tried their beans other than the ones you can get at like Target. So we got this one, which is the Giant Steps blend. It says it has notes of cocoa, toasted marshmallow, and graham cracker. So that's the first one. They said it's like a medium roast, but probably gonna be lighter. And then this one, the Hayes Valley Espresso Blend. It's supposed to have notes of baking chocolate, orange zest, and uh, brown sugar, which just seems like their most default one that they have at the actual coffee shop. I'm excited to try these. Growing up in the Bay Area, Blue Bottle was like the coffee shop. So hopefully these don't dis. So hopefully these don't disappoint. There's not many things I would take over this, being in the comfort of my own home. I know a lot of people love to go out, and today is a Saturday, so most people are out. And more power to those that just love to go out and have a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, being at home, working towards my goals, being around my pets, watching one of my boys play almost every night, and having a girlfriend that spends every day just like me working towards our goals. When we got back from the coffee shop, I actually got this package. And I know I'm not the only one, but the resurgence of Beyblade on my Twitter timeline, on my TikTok for you page. Growing up, Beyblades were the peak of my childhood. And as you guys know, I gotten back into the newest generation of Beyblade, which is uh, Beyblade X. And these are really cool and honestly, probably more fun than the ones I used to play with as a kid. But that being said, the ones in here are the ones that I had as a kid and nothing will beat that nostalgia. So, eh. honestly, I don't know how they fit everything I bought in this box, but it'll go one by one as I pull them out. Bang, El Drago Destructor. What's this? Ooh, Big Bang Pegasus, Phantom Orion. Fun fact, Phantom Orion was the only Beyblade that I ever bought online that was from Takara Tomy, which is the ones in Japan. Everything else I got growing up was Hasbro, but this was like the Beyblade that I wanted just because of the tip, which is bearing drive. Finesse the eBay order. I'm surprised my parents even let me buy that. Flash Sagittario, which I never actually had as a kid. Honestly, I never had any of these as a kid. I had the Hyperblade ones, which is the version that Hasbro released like way later, but yeah. Um, right here, this is Flame Sagittario, Storm Pegasus, the OG. Oh my goodness, we're still going. Yes sir, you know how to do it. Earth Eagle, the goat, the original goat. Used to be banned from every every school, every playground. All right, we got two more, I grabbed two. Meteo El Drago, Galaxy Pegasus. Is that it? No, I mean, I know I have more stuff. Okay, so everything else is accessories, but I'll show you anyways. First, I bought a grip because the launchers are way too small and I have a big hand. Then I got these little rubber grips that you put on the end of the string. I got an extra string launcher. I swear these got way smaller from when I was a kid. They used to be way bigger, even like the boxes. So mind you, these, these toys are released over 10 years ago now, right? 2010 to 2012, um, and I have a ton of them in front of me. Like, I will show you guys, this is this is madness. This is, this is crazy. Why did I buy so much? There is so much stuff. Now, like I mentioned, these toys are old. They are no longer in production. So if I were to buy the new inbox version of all of these Beyblades, I'm looking at what used to be a $10 Beyblade is now at minimum like $50. And that's if you're not getting the competitive or rare Beyblades. So like, for example, if I wanted to get this exact one, it's probably gonna cost me over $80. Same thing here, same thing here. And trust me, I did not do that. These are mid fakes, which means each one of these these were like $12, 10 to $12, which means they are fake, but they are very, very similar to the originals. The colors might be slightly off, the molds might be slightly different, but overall they are pretty similar. And these are Beyblades I'm gonna be using and I'm not gonna be, which means like they're gonna get messed up and I'm gonna open the boxes, which just means I'm gonna lose the complete value of the Beyblade anyways. So getting real ones just would not make sense. This whole lot here would be thousands of dollars. Like I have a couple Beyblades in my office, which are new in box and sealed. Like those I'm keeping new forever. Those are real. And in the future, I'll probably get some of those new in box Beyblades. And in the future, I'll probably get some of those new in box real Beyblades to collect, but to play with and to just fuck around with, these are more than enough for me. So if anybody's curious why I got these, this is 
not sponsored. I spent 200 of my own dollars on all this stuff here. I will tell you, um, the launcher, the grip, other launcher grip, these are all real. I spent resale price on all of these things because I wanted to make sure I had a real launcher because the fake launchers aren't that good. These costed a little bit more. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna open these in this video because I'm gonna make a TikTok on it, but I just wanted to share. And I do have more things to unbox today because over the holidays, I got a ton of PR boxes, which is sick. So let me finish this video first though. Kind of getting sidetracked. Oh Hello, said I look like a stalker getting my B-roll. We're here to eat. Should I get a journal? Yes. What color? A journal for what? To write my video ideas. We have this one. It'd be pink if I wanted a little spicy. This gray one. Brown one. I think this matches. I found you a pen. Why that one? It matches you. I want this. It's like an aged looking brown one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good day. Journal secured. Yeah. I'm be in my content bag. I need a cool pen. I'm bougie with the pen. Come on now. I just need you to put me on. I want flowers. I'm ready to eat. Did you ever sit at table E2? At Century City Mall, then we sat at the same place. In the same spot. This is my sauce caution thingy. Another tip, because I guess today I'm your Heidi Lau host, is if you don't know what to do when you're making your sauce, just look on TikTok and you'll find a hundred million recipes. So I got this journal yesterday. I've never journaled before in my life or had like a diary or anything like that. I just, but the way I plan to use this is every morning, the first thing I do while simultaneously getting a glass of water is writing in here. The things that I will write in here are the things I think about every morning, which is usually content related, video ideas, and less of as a diary. And I'm not gonna be writing like how my day went or things like that, or just, those types of things, but more so video ideas and to use this thing almost like a planner, but it's more, more so as a notepad than, than anything. I think this is gonna be really good for me because although it's not the best way to stay organized, it's a step in the right direction. In keeping with the theme of this video, is baby steps towards, is baby steps towards getting my life together, being a more organized, efficient, and more hardworking person for 2024. be honest with you guys my whole plan for this video was to go to the gym and that be the end of the video and I talk about getting my life together and just tying the whole video together um, what was that fireworks yeah it's, it's 1 a.m. and I have a flight at 8 a.m. I gotta leave here by 6 this video is not done but also something I did want to do in this video was hold on that sounded heavy. And this little guy. I wanted to open up some PR that I got over the holidays that came in while I was away visiting family. Okay, hold on, let me move everything. We'll start with this one. I don't know who at Simple Human got my information or how, maybe it was through my management, but they sent me a phone cleaner, which I got before the holidays, and this touchless dispenser for soap. Simple Human, if you're watching this, Keep sending stuff my way. I love you guys. I'm a simple human. I even use your bags. I don't just get Costco ones. I'm a real one. This will come in hand. Boom. What is this? So if I hold the box any other way, you guys are going to see my apartment number. But this package is from Graf Lance. So I actually remember I am aware of what's in this box because my management told me that they wanted to send me stuff for the holidays, which is super nice. And they asked me what I want. I'm actually super hyped on this because this is the box. Came in a box inside of a box. They even got their logo on the front. Cut away, Logan, cut away. Ooh, that was so smooth. Ooh, I'll start with the thing that I'm excited about. It's in this dust bag. So I don't know if I'm even saying the name of the company right. Graph Lint. Sounds cool to me. So I'm assuming it's right, but if it's not, if it's wrong, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It comes in this nice dust bag. Seems like a woven or cotton material. I don't know what material this is. But then inside, oh, look at the, 
I don't know if you would consider these mocks, but they're like the felt material. These are tough. I love how minimalistic, sustainable, simple these are. So when I saw them on the website, I knew I had to get them. Now they didn't have my size because they seemed like the most pop, one of the most popular things on their website. Let me try them on real quick. So if you know me, I love my house shoe. And a silhouette like this, I prefer to use these indoor and just not get them messed up dirty. These fit very nicely. The gray on gray is interesting. I definitely sized up because these are big, but I'll make them work. They're house shoes. They're so comfortable. Fan of these for show. Fan of these. Check me out. I like them. Let me know what you think. Alrighty, friends. I have zero idea what's in this box. It's also from Razor. This one doesn't seem related to the Dolce event, but maybe the holiday? I don't, still. I mean, I do know how I got on their PR list, but damn, they love me. This one was definitely through my manager. Shout out to my, my team. So I see a bag, not like a backpack, but like a tote bag. Cool, so we got this big Razor tote clean. Oh wait, this is legit. Putting this on the ground. We got a real Razor backpack. Yo, I might be able to take this to Vegas. Check that out. I remember actually, I saw this in the store. They have a store at the Century City Mall. And I was like, well, I was like, wow, that's a nice backpack. Like I would actually use that. Maybe I make this the bag. Let me know what you think. I like the hologram. Boom. What is this? Protecting sleeve for your, protect your unfair advantage. Oh, it's a laptop. Does Razor know I'm traveling? There's actually so much. Yo. There's so much stuff in here. What, was I supposed to make a video for him? No, I don't think so. All right, let's see. Shout out, Razor Cooked. This is a t-shirt, some Razor apparel. That Razor aesthetic. This one is a hat. Bro, they hook up. A little hat action, Aloe will love that. She loves that hat. And now we're getting into the gear, a mouse dock Pro. So I didn't even know these exist. I'm assuming what it is is, oh, it's a Razer wireless charging for your mouse. And it has an integrated 4K Hertz trans receiver, which for me in FPS, I only use 4K Hertz mouse. So. All right, I'm gonna put this up here so you guys get my genuine reaction to things. Razer Base Station V2 Chroma. I don't know if you can see that. But this is a headset stand, an RGB headset stand with integrated like AI and stuff or UI. And then, oh, I've used this headset before, Razer Kraken V3. Three pro solid can never go wrong with another web. Maybe we do some cooking streams. What y'all think? They also sent a Razer Siren Mini. I actually got this, the pink version of this mic for my little sister and her gaming setup. And then the last thing in this box, the Razer Cobra Pro. So we got boxes on boxes on boxes on boxes. All of our pickups are in front of me right here. This is incredible. I am very grateful. I'm feeling very blessed right now. I will say. Certainly the biggest surprise was this. Honestly, I didn't know I was getting like care package as well from Razer. I thought I was just getting the Dolce stuff. I certainly would have been very happy with either way. Best pickup might be this fleece or the shoes. You guys let me know what your guys' favorite thing is from this haul. All right, so as you can see, it is 1.43 a.m. I got a clean, I got to pack, flight leaves. I am not at all ready for CES, but you know, we got a lot, a lot of stuff to do. I'm not gonna lie. I just talked for about 15 minutes to the camera and I wasn't recording. Hopefully I don't forget anything and I have a flight early in the morning. There's just a lot of stuff to do and somewhat stressful, I guess, you know. Oh yeah, and I didn't even go to the gym today, which you know what? It's all good, day by day, we're gonna get there. I think in this video, although I didn't get to do everything that I wanted, I didn't get to go to the gym. And that was one thing I wanted to just include into this video, just documenting getting back into the gym grind and all that stuff, but it's all good because I do feel like I've taken steps towards getting my life together for the new year including now i'm halfway journaling my version of it building a much healthier routine i'm not door dashing every day every moment just building something that's sustainable uh, a good routine and you know we're, we're slowly getting there it's best for me to just take it day by day and focus on building these habits and routines i'm not going to be the content creator that is going to sit here and complain about all these problems and stuff for all i know there's a person watching this that has it a hundred times worse i have it great to be here now and to be exactly where I wanna be, accomplishing the things that I wanted to accomplish and being on the right track, knowing that I made the right decision. I'm grateful. Like, we just spent the last 20 minutes unboxing gifts from brands. Never did I think I'd ever get to that point. So while there is a lot of stuff to do, I just wanna let you guys know that I am grateful. The opportunity, the platform that you guys have given me, it blows my mind. 
every single day. A million people out there that wanna do what I've done. There's a million other people that are also more successful than I'll ever be. But at the same time, it's like, I always think about why me? You know, yes, I worked hard, but truthfully, I think that there's a million other people out there that are, that are and that is capable of doing the things that I've done to this point and doing the things I wanna do. So it's like, if that is you, truthfully, I feel like I have no talent, no skill, but what got me here was a consistent work ethic, a willingness to learn. I didn't see a reality of this not happening and me not being here. My n****s make it hot up in the winter time. Look, yeah, I pray to God, but I'm a sinner, yeah. Yeah, I pray to God, but I'm a sinner. I know they like, how you take them losses and keep pushing forward? Pushing forward, pushing forward.